Tama Takoyaki Cafe. Located in between Guam Reef and Weston Hotel in Tumon, call them today at 648-TAMA. Hafade Guam, welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonah Goncharfres, thanks so much for tuning in. We have a great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, we make our way over to Aganya, to Chamorro Village, and check out the opening of Serena Soul. A little bit later, we make our way over to Tamuni and stop by the IFIT Sports Center. And we close the show tonight with local music and live local Friday. But first things first, the Guam Unique Merchandise and Art Program, or GUMA, is a 16-week incubator program in which local entrepreneurs take part to tailor and tweak their product that delivers the essence of Guam. The result, the fruits of their labor are being displayed now at the GUMA Gallery in the Chamorro Village. Here's more. The Guam Unique Merchandise and Arts Program, or GUMA, was born out of a desire to find new and innovative ways to deliver the essence of Guam while fostering economic development. Executive Director Clifford Guzman. I'm proud to say it's something that a uh, concept that my wife and I came up with about three years ago, and wow, here it is, you know, it's working. And uh, we're really excited. We're really excited to have this facility and work with the, the uh, Chamorro Village. This is an incubator program yeah, facility and uh, it's perfect to have seven of our incubated businesses in this space right now. Guzman says a lot of elbow grease went into getting the gallery up and running but the hard work has paid off with the recent opening of the Guma Gallery in the Chamorro Village. Here we are today you know we've had the opportunity now to um, support these seven uh, artists here uh, close to $200,000 in, in grant funds and support and mentoring and, and uh, you know, it's just a dream come true, literally. According to Guzman, bringing Guma to the Chamorro Village was a no-brainer and it makes a statement on several fronts. First, it says that we do have the quality artists and the quality products that are, are Guam-centric. Uh, secondly, that these products will stand up against any other products that are out there that are Guam-centric. And thirdly, that we have entrepreneurs and artisans who are, are willing to take that first step. And so I think that in and of itself is the statement. And it's great to be down here. Um, not only is this great for selling the product, but it, it gives a retail component to it. It helps train our entrepreneurs into how to retail. And thirdly, it's a great opportunity to bring other retailers in to come down and see how the products are displayed. In the mix, alumna Lacia Casil is a creator of Infinite Charm. We're a local uh, silver jewelry um, business um, inspired by the local traditions in the island of Guam. So I've got different flowers and the different flora and fauna of Guam, um, iconic symbols, um, all inspired by at the island. Casil designs her beautiful charms with a distinct purpose to share stories and permit others to share their stories and to raise awareness to causes that matter to her. All her charms are handmade, hand polished, and hand painted using sterling silver and enamel. There's lifestyle brand Local Girl, which was created by MJ Kinga and Georgiana Perez back in 2011, and they produce culturally agricultural goods. We have some spice rubs, some soaps and some coconut oil and some uh, women's apparel. So we actually grow the ingredients that are in our products. They really like our rubs because we have uh, represented the cultural palette and we have escabeche mixes, uh, chessa mixes, and um, uh, mango dips, all grown with locally local ingredients. So how was Local Girl conceived? We wrote a lot of grants for different nonprofits and businesses, and we decided, well, why not try something for ourselves? So we met Tom at uh, Jeff's Pirates Cove, and he liked our products, so we went for it. Money from the grant went toward packaging and some equipment, and they're thrilled to be part of the GUMA program. We're very proud to be in the boutique here, and um, we have a great public outpour for support for our company. Island Memories is known for their My Special Cookie, a unique brand of specialty baked pastries. Barbara Cruz and Diana Prejean have been baking up novelty specialty pastries since 2009. Everything from island-themed hand-decorated cookies to delicious shortbread cookies. Their flavors are unmatched in the market and are unique to Guam. Then there's Mark Mirror Mosaics. 
who is no stranger to the scene. Many of his pieces are displayed at several establishments locally and abroad. His glasswork captures the very essence of Guam and in a very different medium. His intricate and colorful mosaics are popular and enjoyed by many. Another artisan showcase is Talia Strohmeyer and her business, Color Guam. We specialize in coloring books, local historical coloring books in English, Chamorro, and Japanese. And we also, or I create uh, paintings and I reproduce them as prints and also on um, art cards and on, on postcards. Strohmeyer says she has always been into art and she kept thinking, what could I do to push this beyond the canvas? That's when she started thinking about reproducing her artwork in different formats. That's the thing about reproducing an original piece of art is you could also have it in different price points. So if a person isn't or doesn't isn't a collector but wants to purchase like a print they can and it's affordable or you know if they are collectors they could also buy the original if they want to but it's having the important thing for me was having different price points so that everyone could enjoy the artwork. Then there's Island Icons, which is created by Ron Castro. Castro is a painter, sculptor, photographer, and art instructor, and says his concept for his company came from the desire to portray our local culture in new and innovative ways. Island Icons offers a variety of three-dimensional wooden sculptures and puzzles of some of your favorite local icons. Like the rest of the entrepreneurs, Strohmeyer says she learned a great deal from the program. It's not just about writing a business plan, but it's collaborating with other small business owners or those who already have products in mind and are, and are working at developing it to market it and to sell it. Guma really, I mean, they give grants away to, to uh, people that they feel have a very strong product and a very strong business plan. And it's really a wonderful opportunity for, for anyone out there that's local that already has an idea brewing in their mind and they want to make it turn into a reality. Casil shares the same sentiment. Being in the Guma program, I met so many talented people, um, so many great artists um, that I've become good friends with. And, and we, we throw around ideas together and, and collaborate and um, really, really push each other. If you're interested in the program or would like to know more information, you can contact Guma at 473-4862 or email info at gumaguam.com. And make it a point to stop by the Guma Gallery Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and check out the wonderful products from our aspiring local artists, cultural producers, and entrepreneurs. Oh, and don't forget to tell them that In The Mix sent you. This place is actually really beautiful if you look around. There's so many great products here that are locally designed and locally um, made. Um, everyone should come down. And, and not just my, look at my stuff, but you know, there's food, there's t-shirts, there's um, other jewelry and um, other locally inspired uh, products. It's, it's really great here. I think that when they come down and they see the quality of goods, they'll be very uh, proud of our island and they'll want to share the stuff that they find here. I invite everybody to come on down and visit our, our Guam Unique Merchandise and Arts Gallery. Uh, come and see what can happen when our own local people get an idea and have that fire and come on down and support them. It's a good thing, it's good for Guam. Now remember, there's seven local entrepreneurs. Coming up, we introduce you to the seventh, Serena Soul. You're watching In The Mix.